Lately, I have been exploring Westboro Baptist Church in great depth. Therefore, I have been able to see a lot of the details, the details that many people miss. I get to see the different personalities, the different people, and how they interact in situations, and it's not all the same. Some of them act differently than others. One member, Megan Phelps Roper, looks out of place. It looks like she doesn't belong. It looks like she's not all into it. Just when I thought I saw about all the Westboro Baptist Church clips on YouTube, I looked at one that was recommended to me on that YouTube recommendations feature. It focused on Megan Phelps Roper and she was protesting American Idol. It was fascinating to me for more reasons than one. I find Megan to be fascinating, and like I have said before, she seems like she is just going through the motions. She's not aggressive like the other ones. She generally doesn't engage in heated exchanges like the other ones, at least from what I have seen of her. She doesn't seem to get worked up she doesn't seem to have the issues and the reactions of other people bother her as much as the others. The others are more in your face if you insult them. She's more of the talking, calmly type. This clip seemed to especially bring this out. There were a couple of guys who apparently got to sit in on one of the church services. Lucky guys. And it seemed like the banter between them and her was almost playful. She was saying the words like the rest of them say, but it was as if she wasn't meaning it. Also, it seemed like she actually did find them at least a little amusing, but she was biting her tongue. It reminds me of when I was working in the school system in that anal third grade teacher I was working with Kathy Wilson had a very rambunctious class and Kathy Wilson like most school teachers had a big problem with it and she was getting all worked up but I couldn't help but find the antics of the kids funny so my soul was trying to smile but I had to bite my tongue and it seemed like she's doing the same thing here also they mentioned how Megan uses Twitter fascinating I didn't think they used these social networking sites. Megan was calling them mockers and scoffers, which is a line other members of the church use against people who try to mock and scoff them. But she didn't have the rage, the venom, the distaste when she said that the way the others do. I think it's very important to compare Megan Phelps to her cousin J.L. Phelps. Both of them represent very different feelings within the church. Now Megan is not going to overtly manifest any problem she has with the church. So you have to dig deeper and you have to look and really try to feel what's inside. About J.L. Phelps, somewhere somebody wrote something like this. In the 80s, Jonathan and Paulette, J.L.'s parents, were disfellowshipped from the church due to fornication. But after having already lost four of his children, Fred let them back in and J.L. was the result of this fornication, which has been a blessing for Fred since she has become one of the most active, loyal members. Indeed, I have looked at their stuff and she is definitely very passionate. I have noted recently that Megan seems to be just going through emotions. A Facebook friend of mine sent me a perfect picture to describe this with comments. In the picture, 
you see Megan and Shirley Phelps Roper. My friend's comments are excellent. She said she looks certainly unengaged compared to her mother. Her mother is very passionate. You can tell. This picture shows disinterest. She's there in body, but is she there in mind and spirit? Now look at J.L. Phelps. She seems to be very passionate. She is clearly into it. She even does what about only Shirley Phelps Roper does. Hold up four signs at once, which is a remarkable feat. I don't think I can do that. And one piece I read said it was particularly amazing because JL has a petite frame. She is one of the most prominent figures of their third generation and perhaps the leading figure of the third generation. JL is clearly animated and in her element. Megan seems to be out of place. Take a look at the video, read it, a parody of Michael Jackson, beat it. Go to www.signmovies.net and there is Megan and JL in action. You can look on the side of the comments preview to get the link, so don't worry if you missed it. I never considered JL to be cute until I saw this video. The song is catchy and it looks like most of them are having a good time with it. They, and especially JL, have great verb. They are giving broad smiles, except for two of them. I don't know if that is part of the script, but Megan and one of the other chicks both dance and they both have blank or perhaps even grim expressions on their faces. Megan is a good dancer, but it doesn't look like she is enjoying herself, especially the way JL is. A picture is worth a thousand words, and you can tell things from pictures. Remember all those pictures in which somebody wanted you to pose with a smile and you gave a half-hearted smile? You didn't really want to be in that picture. You didn't really want to smile, but you were being polite. This is the type of thing it seems like Megan is doing. JL, she seems to be fully smiling, fully passionate. That book, Addicted to Hate, a book about Westboro Baptist Church written a number of years ago, the book did say something insightful about the family. It said all of them are living out Fred's dreams, not their own, which involves going to Washburn Law School, getting law degrees, becoming lawyers, and doing all his pickets. Indeed, this is a great problem. I don't believe the problem is that they are doing this per se, as they think Stuff like this is actually good for society in some ways. But the problem is imposing a life onto people, denying them of their self-actualization. The tragedy of Megan Phelps Roper is not that she is holding up signs which say, thank God for dead soldiers, but she is living out someone else's dream, not her own dream. If that is in her soul to carry out the mission of Fred and hold signs that say, thank God for dead soldiers, then it is not so much a bad thing. But I am skeptical that it is. What is the calling inside the soul of Megan Phelps Roper? What is her self-actualization? One book I read put it this way, the greatest joy in life is living out your calling. Indeed, we're in a terrible situation when you don't really feel passionate about what you're doing and you do it out of compulsion. All the power to people striving for self-actualization and I wish Megan experiences that self-actualization. It is sad to look in the pictures and see she doesn't seem to be having fun. It seems she'd be rather doing something else. Bless Megan Phelps Roper.